Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and today, guys, I'm going to show you how to migrate your Server 2008 Active Directory to a brand new server, a new machine, uh, and it's Server 2012. I got two virtual machines right now. Uh, server 2012 is not configured; it's not part of any domain controller. It's just a plain Jane operating system installed, all the updates, and ready to go. Right. On our server 2008 virtual machine, this is our primary active directory. This is our domain controller. This is where our computers uh, are added, as well as our users are logging into our domain controller. Uh, I'm opening up this. I'm going. I have no users, so I'm going to right-click and create my first user. I like to do Batman for the first one. Copy that. Paste. And for this video, I'm just gonna do a sh nice little password that it never expires because pretty later we need to test that stuff out, right? Uh, hit next, finish, and there we go. Now we need to prep up our uh, primary domain controller to start migrating it over to our new physical box. So the first thing that you need to do, let's open up our command prompt. And within command prompt, I'm gonna close the Active Directory users and computer dialog box. And I'm going to go to start and computer. Now, depending how you installed your operating system, your server 2003 or 2008 operating system, if you have an ISO, extract it. Uh, if you have a DVD, uh, place the DVD on your physical box, open it up, and I need you guys to go into the support and AD prep. I believe if you're running a 2003 and you're migrating your 2003 to a 2012, it's going to be inside the sources AD prep. For 2008, it's going to be located in support, AD prep. I'm going to right click on this path and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to close this up. I need to get into the D drive and go to CD backslash and paste. There we go. I'm going to clear that out. And the reason why I need to get into the AD prep is because we need to do a forest prep and a domain prep. So the command would be AD prep dot exe with the parameter of forest prep and we're gonna hit enter uh, really depends of how it, it really depends it normally takes a while for this process to to uh, do its thing uh, first thing you get this little prompt just hit type in C hit enter uh, once you type in C and hit enter again if the process takes a little longer but for me it took extremely fast because these are just new out of the box virtual machines just install the uh, the operating system next thing that you need to do is you're gonna go to start administrative tools go to active directory domains and trust right click on your domain raise the domain functional level to the highest possible raise it up press ok and yes it successfully raised it press ok and we're gonna close that up the next command that we want to do on the command prop is adprep.exe with a parameter of domain prep again is gonna be extremely fast for me but for you it probably takes a little longer because uh, because you're actually running this on production active directory once those two things are completed you're almost done we need to get into our physical box which is our new is which is that which is gonna be our new domain controller for me it's the server 2012 virtual machine and I need to get into the server manager and we're gonna to go to manage we need to add roles and features and we're going to click on next and next and next and what we need to do is active directory domain services actually we need to yeah active directory services and uh, domain uh, we also need to do DNS service tools as well so add that uh, we're probably found on the server to which you want to install a feature click continue to install the selected features anyway no static IP was found. Okay, that's okay. Press okay. I haven't assigned a static IP to the machine, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to press next because we're going to be configuring a DNS later on. We don't really need to configure it now. Uh, click next. Uh, AD, yes. Click next. DNS, click next. And hit install. So once the installation is completed, you're going to get an option to promote the server. Uh, once we promote the server, there's a couple of options that we need to do. So we can start uh, migrating over our server 2008 Active Directory to our new 
Server 2012. Okay, so the configuration is required. Installation succeeded on whatever particular server name um, that you gave your server 2012. We want to click on promote this server to a domain controller, but we're not really promoting it to a domain controller. What we're doing is we're adding this machine into an existing domain. So the first option is add a domain controller to an existing domain. Uh, I'm going to sp supply the credentials and the credentials are going to be the domain that I'm going to be logging into. I'm giving an administrative account. Make sure you type everything OK. Press OK. If everything goes well, the domain uh, field should populate with the domain name. You can hit select if it doesn't. Uh, it's retrieving any domains in the forest. You should see your domain right here. We're going to press OK. Uh, I like to hit the select, even though it pre-populated it for me, I like to hit the select and just pick the actual domain name with the with the extension of .com or .edu or .org or whatever you have in your infrastructure. Next we have to do is click on next. Next thing that we need to do is by default, if you haven't changed the default first name within your uh, infrastructure, it's going to keep it as that. We need to supply a password. Make sure you write down the password and provide it with your uh, IT group because you never know what ha happened. Uh, click on next. We're going to click on next on this. Now from here, uh, replicate from any domain or the specific domain that we are uh, going to be migrating to. We want to do this. We want to pick our old or our active domain controller, which is uh, 2003 or 2008. For me, it's going to be 08. We're going to click next. Uh, all the default settings for the AD database as well as the system volume stuff. I'm going to click on next on that. Keep it as is. Uh, to install the domain controller, the wizard needs to perform the following operations. Foreign schema preparation and domain preparation. Sure, hit next. Uh, review all the options. Hit next. And it's going to check. It's going to do a pre resecrate check. Most likely, I always have a bunch of warnings. You got, If you guys got warnings, you can still install it. But... I would recommend go over all the all the warnings, make sure everything is legit, then hit install. But for me, this is only a testing environment. I'm just gonna hit install. Okay, it looks like it's the process is going through. It's gonna reboot the machine. Once it reboots the machine, you're able to log into your Active Directory, and uh, from there, I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer some important stuff. Okay, so the restart of the server 2012 machine is completed. So I'm going to log into this machine, set a control alt delete. And as you can see, it looks like it's part of my domain. That's excellent. So let's log into this. Hit enter. While that logs in, I am going to go into my server 2008 and I'm going to exit out of the command prompt. And I am going to launch my Active Directory users and computers because within your Active Directory users and computers uh, application, there is a domain controller node. If you click on that, you should see your brand new server 2012 within there. And that is awesome. This is beautiful. This is a good thing. So let's go back inside the server 2012 because most of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you guys to finish the migration is going to be done within server 2012. It's not going to be done on your old um, domain controller. It's going to be done on your new domain controller. Okay, so we're finally logged into our server 2012 machine and that's awesome. So the first thing I want you guys to do or the, what I like to do is go to tools and uh, go to Active Directory and Users and Computers. And the reason why I like to do this is because, remember, this is like a replication kind of server. So it's replicating whatever's in my server 2008 to my server 2012. So I like to go in here. And remember that user that we created at the beginning, Batman? There it goes, Batman. So that's awesome. So the replication is working with no problem. That is a two thumbs up. And the next thing that we need to do is transfer the FSMO. So what is FSMO? Now FSMO stands for Flexible Single Master Operations. There's actually five of these. Number one is the Schema Master. Number two is the Domain Naming Master. Number three is the Infrastructure Master. Number four is the Relative ID or the RID Master. And the last one is the PDC Emulator. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's really, really simple. Again, all these five migration stuff that we're going to be doing is within our server 2012. It's going to be in our new domain controller. 
So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we're going to be using Active Directory Schema Snap-in to transfer the schema master row. So I'm going to close the server manager up and I am going to get into uh, my run command and we need to register a DLL. So to do this we need to do reg svr32 space s c h m m g n t dot d l l hit enter if everything goes well it's going to say d l l register server in uh schema management uh d l succeeded that's awesome we're going to press okay on that and the next thing that we need to do is do a uh what is it uh, windows r and we're going to do MMC, which is going to bring the management, or actually, do that again, MMC, hit enter. It's going to bring up the management console. And we need to add a file, add or remove snappings. And the one that we need to add is real simple because, again, we are migrating over the schema. So it's going to be Active Directory Schema, add that. And we're going to press OK. Once the Active Directory Schema is there, we want to right click on it. And once we right click on it, we want to pick Change Active Directory Domain Controller. So click on that. So if everything goes well, you have two options. So what we need to do is we need to pick this domain controller or AD LDS instant is going to be transferred to which one? It's going to be transferred to our server 2012, right? Uh, it actually tells you the DZ versions, which is pretty cool. We're going to press OK. And the Active Directory Schema Snapping is not connected to the Schema Operation Master. You will not be able to perform any changes. Schema modifications can only be made on the Schema FSMO holder. Now, if you do get this, don't worry. Just press OK. And we need to right click back on the node and we need to go into Operation Master. Now within Operation Master, as you can see, our current Schema Master, which is online, is our old Active Directory, our old Domain Controller, the one that we're basically uh, migrating away from. We need to hit Change. If you hit Change, you click on Yes, and that's going to change to our server 2012. So that means the Operation Manager was successfully transferred. That's excellent. We need to hit Close on that. Then once that's done, we want to click Close and hit No for now. Uh, we need to get to our server manager and we need to open up our Active Directory domains and trust. Now what we're going to do is we are going to transfer the domain name master role. So let's go to tools and let's go into Active Directory, where are you? Active Directory domains and trust, click on that, let's open up that. Once that up and running, at the topmost node, not your domain node, we want to click on this node right here, we're going to right click on that and we're going to do a change active directory domain controller click on that and the same thing this domain controller or AD LDS instance and we're gonna pick the one that we want to migrate over to we're gonna press OK once we do that we, we need to right click again to the node go to operation master again it's still on the old one we want this to be this so let's hit change and are you sure you want to transfer the operation master role to the a different computer yes Awesome, it's succeeded with no problem. The transfer is done. So now the operation, the domain naming operation master is now our server 2012. I'm going to click on close. And last but not least, we already took care of the two FMS FSMO rows. We got three more to go. Now, these three you can hit them in one shot. So we're going to close this up. And what we need to do is go to uh, tools. And we need to open up our Active Directory Users and Computers, which is right here. And once that's done, I need you guys to, let's open this up a little bit, expand this. I need you to right click on this node right here, right click on it. And we need to pick All Tasks. And within All Tasks, Operation Masters. Now, as you can see, these are the last three FSMO rows, which is the RID, the PDC, and the Infrastructure. With the R I D, just hit change, hit yes with the transfer. And as you can see, it changed it to 2012. The P D C, the same thing. This is the one that we're trying to get away from, and this is the one that we want the primary domain controller to be. So just hit change, hit yes. 
Awesome, successful. And the last one is this one. Hit change, hit yes, and okay, and that's it, guys. Wow, isn't that, it's a little easy. It's a little scary to do this stuff because it's your domain controller, but again, guys, if you have confidence, you're able to do this stuff with no problem. Now, I want you guys to take in consideration a major note. Now, before you demote your old server, your server 2012 or your server 2008 from the domain, make sure that you test all your applications and wait at least three weeks to have testing done uh, turn off your server 2003 for two weeks and then demote the retiring server which is 2003 or 2008 DC from the domain if everything works then your 2012 uh, machine is going to be the primary domain controller hopefully you guys doing a failover and have two domain controllers like dc1 and dc2 because that's best practice for what i've seen in my work environment hopefully you guys enjoy this video if any comments and concerns leave them at the bottom of the video don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out